How's it going guys? In today's lesson we're going to be going over how we can create a network monitor and a network monitor is going to be used for checking what kind of connection a user has, whether it's Wi-Fi or cellular or something else and it's also going to check whether it's in data saving mode and the other modes that come with it. This will also be able to check whether the user is using mobile data or if the connection is from a hotspot and you can also check if they're connected at all. So this will save you a lot of time with making network requests because you'll be able to check whether there's actually an internet connection and whether it's a good internet connection before actually trying to retrieve some data. So to get started we're going to go ahead and create a class called network monitor and it's going to conform to the observable object protocol and before we continue with that we need to import network. Now the first thing we need to do is instantiate a monitor which is going to be the NW path monitor and this is going to keep track of the changes on the phone as they're happening. So in case the user changes between Wi-Fi to cellular it's going to keep track of that in real time. So you don't have to check it when you start the app, it's always going to be checking it. Then we need to go ahead and create a queue which is going to equal a dispatch queue with a label of monitor. And then we need to create some published variables so we can retrieve the values that we want and use them later such as is the connection active and that's going to be set to false initially at published var is the connection expensive and is expensive just checks whether it's mobile data or a hotspot any kind of data that's not wi-fi is going to be considered expensive so here we're going to set that initially to false then we should go ahead and type at published var is constrained and is constrained checks whether low data mode is active or not so if it's active it means we're not going to have so much data to work with and that we should proceed with caution so we're going to set that to false and I have an error here because I forgot to add the var keyword. Then we need to create one more which is going to check the connection type. So add published var connection type and that's going to equal an nw interface dot interface type dot other. So these are going to be the values that we are going to start with but of course it's going to update it as soon as we instantiate this class in our app. So let's go ahead and create an initializer and inside here we're going to call the monitor.path update handler so it's going to actively check for updates and that's going to equal a path in and inside here we can work with the data we get back so dispatch queue.main.async so we make sure it's on the main thread and the first thing we want to check is self is active are we actually connected to something so path.status is going to be what we get back and we're going to check whether that is satisfied. If it is satisfied we have an internet connection, if it is unsatisfied or something else we do not have it. Then we're going to update self.isExpensive which is going to call path.isExpensive and that just checks whether again this is either cellular data or a personal hotspot. So go ahead and add that in there, it's going to return a boolean and then self.isConstrained which checks whether we are in low data mode or not. And finally we need to go ahead and create some connection types. So we're going to type in connection types which is going to equal an array of nw interface dot interface type. And actually it's not going to equal but it's going to be of type so we can use that later. And inside here we can add dot cellular dot wifi and dot wired ethernet. And these are the ones we care about. Otherwise as you can see there's also loopback and other but these are the main ones you need to be concerned about. Now right below that we can go ahead and assign to the connection type the connection types dot first and we want to get the one that's currently being displayed. So here we're going to type in path dot user interface type and this is going to return one of these three and if none of those get returned we're just going to return other which means we have no internet probably and that it's on airplane mode. So this will take care of assigning the values that we need and the last thing we need to do under the monitor is actually start it because we created a queue up here that we can terminate at any point we want but we also have to make sure that we start it. So we're going to start the queue of queue. So this will take care of actively updating our monitor status and to use it you can use it as 
any other kind of class. We just need to create a state object so we can keep track of that data and var network monitor. And we can even make that private. It's going to equal a new network monitor. Now inside the body, we can go ahead and create a V stack and it's going to have an alignment of dot leading and some spacing of 30. Then inside here, we can go ahead and use the variables that we've just created. So for this, we're going to go ahead and create a text view and we're going to create verbatim that creates a text string without localization. And we need this if we want to display this data. So here we're going to create a string that says connected and that's going to be set to the network monitor is active. So as you can see, currently we are connected in the emulator. Then let's just go ahead and copy and paste this four times. And the second one is going to be low data mode, which is just going to be set to is constrained. And it is not constrained because we do not have low data mode currently activated. Then for the third one, we can go ahead and check whether mobile data or the hotspot is active. And here we just swap this out with is expensive. And it is not expensive because we are connected to Wi-Fi currently. And finally, we want to find out the type. So here we type in network monitor dot connection type. And it's going to say Wi-Fi because of course we are in an emulator and, and that's actually all it takes to use these values. And you can use them anywhere. You can say, if network is active, make API request and so on. And you can also use the other values anywhere you want in the program. And it's going to keep track of that. Now, the reason I'm not running the emulator to show you how it works is because this is extremely buggy on the emulator. Half the time it does not work on the emulator but I've tested it out on my real iPhone device and it works perfectly there. It's just, it's kind of buggy when you're using the emulator. If you turn off your Wi-Fi connection with emulator, it's going to update everything late, at least one step behind. So if you turn this off, let's say turn off the Wi-Fi, it's going to say there's no connection and it's going to say other. And when you turn it back on, it's going to just be one step behind. So I can't really show you guys live, but if you try it out on your own iOS device, it's going to work perfectly. But with that being said, guys, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.